Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 19, today verses 28 to 35. When he had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass, when he drew near to Bethphage and Bethany, at the mountain called Olivet, that he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village opposite you, where as you enter you will find a colt tied, on which no one has ever sat. Loose it and bring it here. And if anyone asks you, Why are you loosing it? Thus you shall say to him, Because the Lord has need of it. So those who were sent went their way and found it just as he had said to them. But as they were loosing the colt, the owners of it said to them, Why are you loosing the colt? And they said, The Lord has need of him. Then they brought him to Jesus, and they threw their own clothes on the colt, and they set Jesus on him. Okay, so this is the beginning of the, the triumphal entry. This is Jesus. He's come back. The long walk is, is ending now, and he's going to go into Jerusalem, and as you know, historically, the king would enter the city riding on the donkey on the colt, and that was the entrance of the king. That's how that, that was understood. So when Jesus goes in riding the colt, that is going to be an indication that he's the king. So you see how, that, you see how this works. Uh, notice that when Jesus gave them instructions, it was just the way that Jesus said it would be. When you see where you see a colt tied, you know, this is what, and then you say this, and that they followed the script out exactly, but it happened just as Jesus said. Why? Because I'm sure that Jesus was shown in a vision. He was shown that that whole scenario, and he, he therefore instructed them. So that's, you know, Jesus, we say prophet, priest, and king. There's a little piece of that prophet part coming on here where he's getting these, these revelations about what's coming. So they're going to have Jesus go into the city. I guess this is going to be the big hurrah. Everybody's going to accept Jesus, and we're going to all live happily ever after. Only, of course, you already know, they're going to crucify him. The interesting piece here is that Jesus already knows they're going to crucify him, but he's going to ride into the, in there anyway. He's going to come as the coming king anyway. He's going to come as the coming king and be rejected. But God the Father will accept his sacrifice. So there will be redemption for you and I and for all who are willing to receive it from him. So anyway, just a foreshadowing of the day when Jesus ultimately enters, enters the new Jerusalem and fully accepted. But that's on the other side of some stuff that's still yet to happen. Here we see at the conclusion, toward the conclusion now of Jesus' ministry, he's now entering into Jerusalem. And what a great uh, despair the disciples are going to have because they don't understand that this good entrance is actually not going to lead the way they want it to. Jesus will be crucified. His hands will be nail-pierced. He will die for them and you and I and all who are willing to receive him. So, interesting picture. The long walk is ending now. Jesus has returned to Jerusalem. He's coming to the city of peace. I wonder if a peaceful response awaits. We will see. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you that Jesus persisted in the long walk. Thank you that he was diligent and he came and kept on coming, even though uh, this led, of course, to the very cross, the very suffering and sorrows of Calvary. Now, Lord, bless us. Help us, even if they didn't receive him as the king, may you and I, uh, may the people listening and I, may we receive Jesus as king. We thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. Help us to be your faithful subjects now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, friend, good news. Jesus, Jesus came. He came even though there's a cross awaiting. Jesus comes. Even though there's a cross awaiting us in our Christian experience, we come. We keep coming and come to Jesus. God bless you today and pour out upon you a unique blessing for this day.